Breastfeeding can be a real pain in the boob, especially if you have a clogged duct, mastitis, or a bleb. Today we're going to talk about everything you can do to get quick relief, including that weird thing you read about on the internet. That's the one. Welcome back to Every Mama's Midwife. If you're new, my name's Jess. I'm a certified nurse midwife and infertility mom. I just had my second baby 11 weeks ago, and I've already had two clogged ducts and a bleb this go round. For reference, a clogged duct is when you can feel a tender lump further back in the breast, and a bleb is when you can actually see the clog as a white bump on the tip of your nipple. Mastitis is when a clogged duct becomes infected and you develop a fever and flu-like symptoms. Everything that we're going to talk about in today's video can be used to cure either a clogged duct or mastitis or a bleb. In the coming weeks, I'll post my home birth video and talk about how to have a comfortable IUD insertion, so make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss those uploads. As always, if you're having breast concerns, make sure to talk to your healthcare provider. All right, first, that weird thing you read about on the internet. Can you ask your husband, boyfriend, partner to suck out the clog? Yes, you can. And honestly, it might be your most effective option. I did not learn about this option in midwifery school, but I learned about it from my cousins when we were having a girls' night and everyone had had a glass of wine. You cannot imagine my dismay as a midwife when I learned I was the only person who hadn't tried it to resolve a clog, and I'd had one, and I'd had mastitis, and I'd had a bleb at this point. I did talk my husband into doing this for me when I had a bleb last week, and the bleb was gone within 24 hours. With my first baby, I had a bleb that lasted for four months, and I wish I had tried this trick. If you're not comfortable asking someone to slurp out your clog or your bleb, fortunately there are a lot of other things you can try. You can start taking 800 milligrams of ibuprofen every six hours, which is four regular ibuprofen. This will both help decrease the pain and help decrease the inflammation in your breast to help the clog clear. Make sure to keep latching baby on the affected breast. Even if you have mastitis, it is safe to nurse off of that breast. You can also try pumping on the affected breast with an electric pump. If you have a haka, you can fill it with warm water and Epsom salts and apply it to the affected breast for 15 to 20 minutes a few times a day. If you don't have a haka, I would invest in one just because it's both a great tool for clearing a clogged duct as well as a great tool for helping build up your freezer stash. I have an affiliate link to my favorite one in the description. It's got a suction cup on the bottom so you don't spill your milk when you set it down on the counter. Of course, any milk that you pump with it when it's full of warm salt water, you'll have to toss. If the clog still isn't clearing, you can try putting the haka on while you're in a warm shower and then massaging over the clog. If you find you're prone to mastitis or clogged ducts, you can try taking a sunflower lecithin supplement. Sunflower lecithin is an over-the-counter supplement that's supposed to help make your milk less sticky and less likely to clog. While you have mastitis or a clogged duct or a bleb, you can take one 1200 milligram soft gel four times daily. And then once the clog clears, you can cut back to one soft gel daily for maintenance. Legendary Milk is my favorite brand. I have an affiliate link in the description. I try to remember to take it daily. Most women who have had mastitis are likely to have it again three more times. So after I had mastitis once with my daughter, I continue to take sunflower lecithin and fortunately I never had it again. If none of these things help, definitely go see your healthcare provider. And by all means, you should be talking to a healthcare provider if you think you have full-blown mastitis because it usually takes antibiotics to get better. If you have a persistent bleb that will just not go away, you can also talk to your healthcare provider and get a prescription for triamcinolone, which is a steroid cream that you can apply to your nipple to decrease inflammation and help get rid of the bleb. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. It really helps the algorithm show it to the mamas who might need it. Thank you so much for watching.